what makes you comfortable may not have been what made you comfortable a week ago, right? What makes you comfortable next week may have nothing to do with what makes you comfortable today in this moment. We're molding ourselves. We're molding ourselves right now from a pile of shit. Because for the last four years, every single one of us have been going through something. Whether it's been our partner's been going through a massive transformation and we don't know what the heck is going on with them, or whether it's been us in those shoes going through that transformation and no one knows what the heck's going on. This is about embracing the unknown. All year is going to be opportunities opening up one after another. But a lot of those opportunities could be potential trickery for some, Capricorn, Cap Rising. For others, it may be exactly where you've been being led to this entire time, Aries. Sun and rising. We've got quite the exposure that's going to be opening up. Virgo, Virgo rising. Many of us are being called to express our authentic selves. And that's damn near every one of us. We've got Pluto and Aquarius and being fake just simply doesn't work. It's not, it's not going to work. It's just not going to work. Doing things on your own is not going to work. You can feel like it's going to work for a little while, but it's not going to work. You know, um, we've all been led, being led to a certain direction over the last few years. And it doesn't mean that we're there. It doesn't mean that we've even crossed the bridge to get there. But it means that these last four years have been teaching us the tools we need to succeed at what's coming our way. So if you've got this repetitive theme that has just been for the last several years, get it through your head. Save yourself the trouble. You know? Um, relationships. Who hasn't dealt with relationships in one way or another? This year, I really think the focus, other than cancer, is going to be about career. It's going to be about career. It's going to be about where can you succeed at being authentically you and make a life off that. Make a career off of it. You know, this is not, none of this is going to be for the weak of heart. And I feel like that's why so many of our loved ones have moved on in the last decade, especially the last few years. It's because we can't do this without a support team, without, uh, without our cheer, right? Without our sideline cheer team, our spirit team, our soul team. With our out we, we're not going to make it without our ancestors cheering for us. Embrace who you are. The only way to go about life comfortably is to embrace who you are. And then those that are attracted to that person that you truly are will just start showing up in your life. It's amazing how that works. But if you're going to keep on putting on that fake face and keep on trying to please everybody else, especially cancer, sun and rising but I'm talking to every single one of you if we keep on wearing some fake mask of who we are we're going to make it a really hard year on ourselves and not only that but you're just going to have people that you are uncomfortable around in your life embrace who you are show that unique side of you that you don't see other people showing. Because it is uniquely you. Right? We're, we're entering into um, this dark moon phase, right? We're going to see this, this balsamic moon 
cross over pretty much every single, all the planets on the way to the Chinese New Year. And to me, I see it as a massive review. I see that, yeah, the outside world might be really falling apart. As it is supposed to at this point in time in history, in our cycles of this world and planets and the all that is. This is what was always supposed to happen at this time. Right? But, um, as we go through this, we can sink or swim. We can self-sabotage. We can, we can, we can make it harder on ourselves by not really embracing who we are. I see this beautiful dark moon, basalmic moon, passing through all these planets as a review of, did you learn what I've been trying to teach you? Not me personally, but the planets, the universe, the celestial beings. For the last four years, five years, six years, two years, have you gotten the message? And today is a beautiful, wonderful day to really embrace those thoughts. Where are you not being you? Where are you putting on a false mask? Because it's time to take it off. But remember, there's help out there. There's always someone out there that you might have not even thought of. That is always there, got your back, wants to help. And if not, DM me because you know I like to talk. <laughs> Just saying. Let's, uh, let's finally get down to some reality. And stop living in this matrix and being the perfect part of the matrix. Much love all. Happy days. <laughs>